What do you like about your position? What do I like about my position? Hmm. You know, being a person who is visually impaired themselves, and I, um, I have been since I was five, um, gradually lost my vision. You know, it's, it's given my vision loss a purpose. Hmm. You know, it's, it gives it meaning. Um, you know, helping people through, you know, the struggles with their vision loss has has really been, you know, kind of my my mission in life. This was something that, you know, once I reached that high school age and was starting to think about what I wanted to do for a career, this was absolutely it. You know, I knew, I knew from a young age that, that this is what I wanted to do. And like I said, it's it's given it's given my vision loss purpose and, you know, and a reason and, you know, that I'm able to help clients that are in the same boat mm -hmm. that I am and, you know, to let them know that, you know, even with all of the training that I have had and all of the years that I am, have been visually impaired, you know, there are times where it's, it's still tough for me to deal with yeah. and, you know, to be able to say genuinely, to people, you know, um, we can help you through your vision loss and you know, it is okay yeah. that you get frustrated, that you mm -hmm. get sad and, and have those emotional kind of issues. And you know, we are here to, to help you through that. So right. it's really. You can relate yes. so well mm -hmm. and, and you can empathize. Yes. Instead of just sympathizing with someone, you can empathize because you do know Right, right. You know, and the silly kind of things that, you know, happen to you when you're when you're visually impaired, you know, the accidents, um, you know, knocking over glasses and tripping on things, all those kinds of things, you know, I mean, they happen to sighted people too. But as a visually impaired person, you don't see right sighted people doing that. Right. You don't see how idiotic I can look. Right. You know, you don't you don't know that, that you know, there are other people right. you know, out there that are doing that. Yeah. And so, you know, it's it's kind of like it's it's kind of like a like a club, you know. Mm -hmm. You're able to say, Yep, I get it. I get it. I just knocked over my coffee this morning. Mm -hmm. You know, or you know I accidentally we had a we have a, a weekly group called Coffee Chat in conjunction with the North Dakota Association for the Blind and they had um, a session where, you know, they really talked about, you know, the things that you may think are, you know, kind of devastating mistakes, you know, those uh -huh. times when you, when you spill your coffee or, you know, yeah. you use something that you think, you know, I used I made a whole batch of monster cookies one time. I thought I was using flour, and it ended up being coffee creamer. Oh you my know? gosh! And, and oh. so those kind of things, you know, you're you're talking about those kinds of things, and you can you can say, yeah. you know what, I get it, I yeah. get it because I've done this too. Yeah. yeah. So it's really, like I said, it's it's given my life purpose. Oh, that's so cool.